Mrs. Preddy, School Librarian, here today to share a book I just read, Not If I Save You First, by Allie Carter. Looks can be deceiving, and guys, that's what this cover will do, completely deceive. It looks like chiclet, but it's a book for everyone filled with action and espionage told in two voices, alternating between Maddie and Logan's perspective of the events as they are happening. Maddie lives in the wilderness of Alaska, and Logan, the president's son, is sent to live with Maddie and her father in an attempt to hide from their enemies. As the author says in her acknowledgments, in many ways this is the most research-heavy book that I've ever written because, in many ways, it's also the most realistic. Always before, I've written in worlds largely of my own making, but Alaska is a very real, very vast, very fascinating place, and I felt the need to get it as right as possible. And she did. Our character, Maddie, was used to taking care of herself, but now she had to rescue Logan from the Russians who had dragged him into the Alaskan wilderness. In the story, Maddie says, there are at least half dozen perfectly good reasons why someone would want the president's son. But in many ways, it didn't matter why. The only thing that mattered was that they were currently being held by a knife-wielding, ticked-off Russian. And they had to find a way to escape or they would not survive. The problem wasn't just the enemy, though, but also the dangers surrounding them in the environment, the weather, and the wild animals. This book has it all. Action, friendship, international espionage, wilderness survival, romance, humor, and pay close attention, because not everything is as it seems. And that is Not If I Save You First by Allie Carter.